Minecraft is without doubt one of the most popular games to date, but at the same time, the graphics do look a little bit outdated, don't they? Hey, what's up guys? My name is Foryam and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to install shaders for Minecraft 1.18.1 with Sodium and Iris to make the game look like a real 2022 game, makes it look so much more beautiful and at the same time run so much smoother as well. Definitely make sure to stick till the end because I'm also gonna share some bonus performance differences in between Iris and Sodium and Optifine. So guys, let's get right to it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is launch Minecraft on 1.18.1, the latest release without any mods, plugins or whatsoever. So you're gonna click on the drop down menu right here and select latest release 1.18 with the green block pretty much and then press play. So right now the game is preparing itself for launch. Sometimes it will have to do a download for an update. But here we are, Minecraft 1.18.1. As you can see in the bottom left right there, we have nothing else installed. If we go to options, video settings, there are no shaders whatsoever. Right now we can quit the game and install everything we need. I'm gonna provide a link in the description to Iris Shaders, the one which we're gonna use to install shaders for Minecraft 1.18.1. I also think this is a better alternative to Optifine. Right here, you're gonna press download Universal Jar. So right now you should have the Iris installer 2.0.3. Of course, if this video will work for future versions as well, I'm gonna keep this video live, but basically drag this one to your desktop. And right now, all you have to do is pretty much double click this file. So on the installer, we're gonna select Edition, Iris and Sodium. This is a fantastic combo because it both improves the performance and allows you to use shaders at the same time. For the game version, we're gonna select the most recent one. This is 1.18.1. Once again, guys, I will update both the title and the links in the description if this also works for future versions. Then you're gonna select your install directory for Minecraft. Mine is exactly this one. And you can also install as fabric mod, but we really don't need that. Now we press install. That, my friends, is pretty much it. Right now it says installation succeeded so we can launch Minecraft once again and get rid of this file. So right now, by default, you have the Iris and Sodium for 1.18.1 selected right here. And this is also the one which we're going to use. But before we press play, you want to go to installations and we're going to make a little change right here in the settings. So we're going to press edit on this little drop down menu and go with more options and scroll all the way down to the GVM or Java arguments. Right here it says XMX 2G. This is basically the amount of RAM which is allocated to Minecraft. So you're using this amount of RAM when launching with Iris and Sodium. But if you have a nice PC, you actually wanna crank this up a little bit to increase the performance in game. So basically, if you have a pretty beefy PC like me with 32 gigabytes, I think you should go with something like eight. I think this is also the maximum which you can allocate. But if you have a PC with eight gigabytes, go with four. If you have 16 gigabytes go with eight pretty much always like 15 percent but maximum eight gigabytes this would make the game run even smoother we're gonna press save right here and then we can go to play and press play right here the first time after installing this one you will always get this pop-up message you just click i understand the risks and press play Okay, so right now we're running Minecraft 1.18.1, the modded version pretty much called Fabric right here. This is pretty much the one which allows you to install shaders. So basically what we can do is press single player, go to our world and play selected worlds. Okay, so here we are in my new Minecraft world. As you can see, we currently have no shaders enabled. Everything looks pretty basic, so let's change that in a second. But um, look one more time, guys. This is Minecraft without shaders. So basically, right now, all you need to do is press escape. Go to options, video settings, and then right here, we have a different menu in comparison with the original Minecraft. Personally, I like the layout on how the settings are displayed for both Iris and Sodium. So basically right here, we have the render distance, the shadow distance, you can change all these. Of course, if you wanna copy mine, but right here we have the quality settings, performance, advanced, and then also the shader packs. This is obviously the one you're looking for. So basically all we need to do right now in this menu is select the one which we want to use. So we can go to shaders enabled and now select BSL for example and press apply. We only need to wait for a couple seconds for the shaders to load in and you will instantly see the changes in game. How awesome is that? So these are the BSL shaders. Many people like them. I personally think they are a little bit too bright. Then we also have the CU's PTGI shaders. I like these a little bit better 
but my hands down favorite are the complementary shaders so let's check them out for a second so this is everything you need to do right now we can press done and escape and get right into the game so right now you can tell that um, our shadow looks so much more beautiful we have very nice lighting in game everything looks pretty realistic to be honest and of course you also have the shadows right there i didn't put my shadows on the highest settings because i think this already makes everything look gorgeous but um, of course you can change these settings to your liking as much as you want let me quickly show you some shots which I made without and of course also with the complementary shaders enabled. I think it makes Minecraft look so much more beautiful. Definitely a next-gen 2022 game right now. Anyways, I'm going to provide the links to complementary and also BSL and CU shaders in the description. I will show you in a second exactly how you need to install them. Okay, so in order to install these, you're gonna press escape, go to options, video settings, and then go to shader packs. Right here, we can drag and drop shader packs in order to add them, but we can also open the shader pack folder. So these are the three shaders which I showed you earlier. Anyways, if you want to install them yourselves, all you need to do is go to the link in the description. So for this example, we're gonna check out the complementary shaders, my favorite. So all we need to do right here is go to files, and here it says complementary version 4.3.3 uploaded December 18th, 2021. So that was pretty recently. And the game version is also 1.18.1. So you're safe to press download and it would automatically start. Ooh, it seems like I had an outdated version. So this tutorial is actually useful for me as well. 4.3.2 right there. And we're gonna drag and drop the 4.3.3. And that is pretty much everything you need to do. Of course, you can also drag and drop it in Minecraft itself. But right now, what we're gonna do is refresh shader packs right here. And bam, look at that. We've got the 4.3.3 enabled. I'm gonna press apply. Normally, nothing should change really, but uh, this is the most recent version, probably a little bit more stable than the previous one. And that, my friends, is pretty much everything you need to know in order to install these shaders yourselves as well. Right now, to the little bonus, if we press F3, we can see that we currently have about 60 frames per second with a pretty nice render distance. I just want to share with you guys that the Iris and Sodium works way better in comparison with Optifine. Right now, if we go to Options, Video Settings, our render distance is on. 25 and we get a frame rate of almost 60 sometimes it's 70 to 80 but right now we have quite some things rendered into the world let's say right now i'm gonna close the game and relaunch it with optifine to show you the difference in frames per second in comparison with that one okay so right now we're running minecraft on optifine we're gonna press single player go to the main world once again you know what i'm doing and here we go, on Optifine without any shaders, right now we're gonna press escape, video settings, shaders, of course the latest complementary. This always needs to load, so that is why I think Iris and Sodium is also way much ahead in comparison with Optifine. But right now, when we press done, go done once again, done and back, right now if we press F3, with exactly the same settings. Also, if we go to options, video, we also have the render distance of 25. You can tell that instead of 60 FPS, we're getting a 45 frames per second on average maximum and a 35 to 40 minimum. So that is a huge difference in performance. I would definitely recommend you guys to use Iris and Sodium. All right, so guys, that's it pretty much for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching this one. If you did, definitely make sure to hit that like button as it helps out the channel big time. And of course, if you're new here, don't hesitate to subscribe. It is entirely free and there is so much more coming your way. Guys, have an awesome day. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Peace.